Good morning, everybody. Doing something a little bit different this weekend, and I am going to give you a little diary of what we do and what I eat this weekend. So it's Saturday morning, like 8 o'clock, drinking my water, and I just got out of bed. You can see I've got crazy hair going on. Um, but I am about to go walk Trevi, and then I'm going to yoga, and then we'll see where the day takes us. So you can tell that it's gonna be a really hot day already, but we are walking to a local coffee shop, and I'm with Matt and Trevi, and Matt's gonna get a coffee, I'm gonna get an iced matcha latte. Okay, so we just got back from our walk and I need to make a really quick snack before I go to yoga. So, if you follow me on Snapchat, I shared this on Friday and it's my favorite snack lately. It's so good. I'm gonna show you what it is. It's dried Turkish figs and then I do a layer of peanut butter and then I do a layer of jam. And this is the jam that I use. It's 100% fruit, there's no cane sugar, and this is the black raspberry flavor. I got it at Whole Foods. I will look for it online and link this below. But I gotta quickly make my little snack and then it's off to hot yoga. Oh, it's not focusing, but here is my little fig peanut butter jelly snack. I mean, seriously the best snack ever. Sorry, my mouth is full, but. It's so good. It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's healthy. Just got back from yoga. Matt is watching Family Guy in the background if you can hear it. And I'm going to shower. I'm going to show you my morning, well, I guess my everyday like skincare products that I use. And then I'm going to make a green smoothie for both of us. So for my body lotion, I use this Luminance Skincare Skin Lotion. And I'm actually going to add into it this Panaway Essential Oil. I'm feeling kind of sore from a workout, so this helps with sore muscles and it smells nice too. So I start with my facial toner and then I do my eye gel from Rhea Ackerberg. And then I actually combine these two. So this is the day Rose Day Cream from Dr. Hauschka and this is the Sun Protecting Oil from Maria Ackerberg. So I will say I don't actually love this Rose Day Cream. It's a little heavy for the summer. so. Um, I'm going to use up this bottle, but then I'm going to switch back to the Kintz cream, which is uh, what I really like. In here so far is a bunch of kale, some protein powder, and some spirulina. So the protein I'm using is this Vega Protein and Greens powder. And then I also have this spirulina powder. And I have a, it's not focusing for some reason, but uh, there you go. Okay, so I have a superfood powder video on my channel that I will link in the description box below and it just talks about my favorite superfoods that I add to my smoothies. And I'm actually adding a lot of them today. So I have the spirulina in there and then I'm also going to be doing maca powder. So I buy my maca in bulk on Amazon and it's focusing as an issue today. But I store it in this jar and I'm going to add a teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna add some turmeric and also some cinnamon. And then I'm also gonna crack in a little bit of black pepper because this helps you absorb the benefits of turmeric. And then I have my watermelon juice and then I have frozen banana, frozen strawberries, and frozen peaches. If you can see, but it's kind of a horrific color, but not as green as I hoped it would be, but that's because I have some red stuff in here. So red and green smoothies don't ever look that appealing, but it tastes really yummy. So now I'm just gonna pour it into a glass and drink it up. This is just basically a pre-breakfast smoothie. We're gonna go to brunch later. Well, I guess it's lunch, but we're gonna go down to Butcher's Daughter in Soho, and I will definitely be showing you the menu and all the food there because it is so good. So for now, I'm just going to drink my smoothie and then we are off to the east side for a few little errands and then brunch. So we're at the 
butcher's daughter and I'm gonna show you what I got. I got some green tacos. And these are the tacos. It's really loud out, but they're in romaine leaves. They have cabbage, sauteed mushrooms, radishes, a cashew crema. And then Matt got this just like traditional breakfast. It has eggs and toast and veggie sausage, some hash browns. And we have a green mimosa and also some fresh mint water. So we just got back and we were down in the like Soho, East Village area and we stopped in Little Italy at my favorite gelato place. I got some chocolate sorbetto and got home and we have a bunch of packages. So I'm gonna show you what we got. I ordered some stuff from Beauty Counter and Beauty Counter is a non-toxic beauty um, like skincare and makeup and everything like that. And so I'm gonna show you what I ordered. So I got a bunch of different things, and I'm gonna do a full review um, of the stuff that I bought. I just need to look at them over there. <laughs> so I'm just going to just like test it out for a few weeks and tell you what I think. The first thing I ordered is a, there we go, charcoal cleansing bar. So this is just a soap and it's made out of activated charcoal. I've heard it's amazing and I'm really excited to try it. The other thing I got is this purifying charcoal mask. So I'm really into masks right now. I have a pumpkin honey one from Andalou that I also really like, but I'm excited to try this activated charcoal stuff. I've heard it's very invigorating and cleans out your pores and it feels really nice. So I'm excited to try that. I also got this Mattify Skin finishing powder and this is for on top of your makeup or your tinted moisturizer and it basically just sets your makeup and also helps you not stay oily. I feel like this would be really helpful in not making you super shiny and oily looking. Then I also got this rejuvenating radiance serum. I love, love, love my skin serum. So I'm excited to try this one. I think it would be something I would use at night after I wash my face. So I will definitely let you know what I think about this. And then I also got some of their sunscreen lotion. Um, I have found that it's really hard to find a great natural non-toxic sunscreen. And so I have a friend that uses this and she says it's amazing. So I am excited to try it. I'm gonna use it on our hike tomorrow. So I'll definitely let you know what I think of it. Um, the ones that I've tried before, the natural ones at least, have been like really thick and they don't spread very easily. So hopefully this one isn't like that. Last but not least, I got this Everyday Hydrating Body Lotion. I'm almost out of that luminescence I think is what it is, but I'm almost out of it. And so I was looking for a new lotion and I thought I'd give this one a try. So I will be sure to let you know what I think of this one also. Not sure what we're going to be doing tonight. Talked about going out, might end up staying in, not sure. But for now, mask and vino time. This is the mask, the charcoal mask from, what are you doing, Trevi? <laughs> So this is the charcoal mask from Beauty Counter and I put it on like a couple minutes ago and it's already dry and hard and it feels really nice. Um, I also used a lotion on my legs after I took a quick shower and also really liked that. So, so far I am definitely liking these products. If you have tried Beauty Counter, let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you have a favorite product, let me know and I'll order it so I can try it. But for now I'm going to drink my wine and Netflix and chill. So we ended up deciding to stay in and whoa, this like light is awful. And we ordered pizza and I'm gonna show you this pizza. So it's from a place called Two Boots, which is all over the city. And they have vegan and gluten-free pizza. This is their veggie one. I forget what it's called, but it has like broccoli and mushrooms, onions, daya cheese, a pesto sauce, a red pepper sauce. And then Matt got like regular pizza, but it's honestly like such a good treat. And since it has a lot of veggies on it, it's also kind of healthy. And then we also made a spinach salad on the side. So Matt just corrected me and said that I probably shouldn't call it healthy, but I would say that this is a healthier option than like traditional pizza because the crust is really thin and it has a lot of veggies on it. It's using a very basic sauce. I guess like the day of cheese is maybe not the healthiest option, but you know, it's all about balance, my friends. So I'm gonna show you my plate. 
Here is my yummy pizza, and then we have our big salads. We have our dog begging. <laughs> Matt's pizza is over there. I don't know what he ordered. What did you order? Uh, pepperoni, mushroom. pepperoni, and mushroom, peppers. and peppers. But I am going to dive in, enjoy my wine, and we are also watching The Wire. Good morning, happy Sunday. I am just getting ready to go for a hike with Matt. Um, we are driving up north about an hour or so to go for a hike today. So I am going to make us a matcha latte and coffee, respectively. Matcha latte for me, coffee for him. And I'm also going to pack up a green smoothie for breakfast for the road and I'm making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, taking some trail mix I bought at the grocery store yesterday. And I think we have some other snacks to take with us, um, but I will show you everything that I'm preparing and then I will definitely be taking you on our hike with us. Here are the two trail mixes I have. This one I bought for Matt and it has like kind of the traditional um, ingredients. It has peanuts, it has organic M&Ms, it has some almonds, it has some raisins. And then this is the one that I bought for myself. It has, let me see if I can focus. So I added some raw almonds in the bottom, but this one also has, it's not focusing very well for you. So it has mulberries, golden raisins, cacao nibs, cashews, goji berries. Trail mix is definitely a hiking essential because it is energizing, it's got a lot of healthy fats and proteins, and it's really easy to take with you. Also packing up two protein bars. So this one is an RX bar. This is for Matt. He really likes this brand. He hasn't tried the peanut butter flavor yet, but this one is obviously just egg whites, peanuts, and dates. And then these are for me, this is Square Bar. I really, 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 really like Square Bars. Um, they use organic protein. They have really great ingredients. They taste awesome. They taste like a candy bar. And they're also non-GMO, certified gluten-free, and organic. So here are our little peanut butter and jellies. This is the sprouted Ezekiel bread from Food for Life. And this is the sprouted gluten-free bread from Food for Life I used bulk peanut butter that I ground at Whole Foods. It uses organic peanuts. And then this, again, is the jam that I'm using. Such a dork. I have this little lunch box that I'm bringing in the car so that stuff can stay relatively cold. But inside, I have all of our lunches and snacks. So I have our trail mix. I have a kombucha for after. I have two apples, a green apple for me, and a pink lady for Matt. I have our protein, and then I have our sandwiches. All right, you guys know the drill for my matcha latte, but I am using organic matcha green tea. So this I bought on Amazon. I'm actually gonna do an online grocery haul, but this is USDA organic, and it is the ceremonial grade. So I'm gonna use this, some water, and some monk fruit extract to sweeten it, and I'm also gonna add in some MCT oil, and that will be it. So I don't know if you noticed, but I actually don't drink coffee. If you have seen any of my What I Eat in a Day videos, you know that usually for my caffeine fix, I am drinking green tea. So I don't drink coffee. Um, it's kind of a personal choice. It's not because of health reasons or anything. I did a cleanse called the Clean Program like six years ago probably, and that was one of the things that it cut out, and I really just never added it back in. I haven't missed it. Um, I do love the smell of it, and I will like try coffee-flavored things sometimes, but for the most part, I just am happy drinking tea. I'm a huge tea lover, but Matt does drink coffee, so I do our grocery shopping, obviously, and I always make sure to buy organic fair trade coffee. Um, usually, if I can, I get shade grown because it's better for birds, and I'm gonna do a similar thing with with his coffee, I'm gonna do the coffee, drip it into our blender, add in some MCT oil, um, he likes a little bit of organic cane sugar, and then a splash of half and half, blend it up, and that's it. For a green smoothie, I'm starting with kale, and then I'm using some organic baby spinach. I'm gonna do two probably really big handfuls, because we're not really eating many greens other than this today until dinner time. So I probably have like four cups of greens in here, maybe even a little bit more.
are back in the parking a lot after the hike. It was hot and harder than we thought and we definitely didn't have enough water. So Trevi is like dying. We need to go drive to a gas station and get some water. I am eating my peanut butter and jelly and we're gonna hop in the air conditioned car. My car is cooling down over there and hopefully make it back with no traffic and sit in our air conditioning. <laughs> Finally back home after our hike, and I am now just menu planning a little bit. Uh, Matt and I just talked about what we want for the week, our schedules, what nights we're here, what night, nights we're out, and I also ate my leftover slice of pizza. Oopsie, wasn't that hungry, but it tasted good. All right, so here is our list for the week. Well, this is our dinner list for the week, and uh, the nights that he's out, I'm having like zoodles, because that's my favorite thing ever. And then on the other side is my list. Definitely not filled out yet. Just got back from groceries. Now it's time to unload. And then I think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. So here are all of the groceries we got. We got three big bags of groceries and some of it is for recipe testing. I am doing a fun banana ice cream thing that's coming to this channel soon. Here is the whole fridge. Everything we got this week. I mean, obviously we still had like condiments and everything left over, but this is our veggie drawer. I have some collard wraps for lunches. We have romaine. I have some cabbage under there, broccoli, avocado, a bunch of peppers. There's some zucchini under there, There's some fresh mint. We have kale for salads, spinach for smoothie bowls. Um, this is one of my new favorite hummuses, and it's the Roots Oil Free Original Hummus. I got two containers of that because I like to add this as my base for my collard wraps. Bunch of organic berries, they were on sale this week. Um, I got some portobello mushrooms for some lettuce wraps that I'm gonna make. Got some tempeh, we have some sprouts, some fresh pico, there's some wild caught salmon that Matt has. And then, let me shut that drawer and then I'll show you the freezer. So I totally stocked up on my frozen berries and my frozen fruit for smoothie bowls. But I have like mango and peaches, I have cherries, I have raspberries, I have a big thing of blueberries, big thing of strawberries, froze a bunch of bananas. And then over here is our fruit that needs to sit out. So we have a big thing of organic lemons, we have some avocado, we have some onion shallots, organic peaches, bunch of organic fair trade bananas. And then we also have organic cherry tomatoes, a sweet potato, a tomato. And then here's my messy pantry. So before I sign off, I just wanna ask you one quick question. Um, I just gave you a quick tour of my fridge and freezer, but this is actually a video that I have thought about shooting. So if you would like to see a full, like what I keep in my fridge, what I keep in my freezer, and what I keep in my pantry video, I think they would be helpful as three separate videos, but let me know what you think. I'd be happy to put that onto my list. And if you guys have any other ideas or thoughts or anything that you want to see, I'm also thinking maybe an apartment tour, but we are like not decorated how I would like to be. So that's going to have to be on hold for a while. But let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to see a thumbs up. I also am going to be linking to a bunch of the products and places that we visited over the weekend in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.